Hey everyone, it's Derek here with another video, and today we are talking about the AirPods, third generation, Powerbeats Pro versus the AirPods Pro. Which one should you get? I actually got all of these for the same price, right around $169.99. And yeah, which, which ones should you get? With the addition of the AirPods third generation, they're supposed to be retail wise the same price as or lower than the rest of these. The Powerbeats Pro hasn't been updated. These are probably the oldest in the uh, in the bunch here. And then the Power or the AirPods Pro, uh, second oldest. And yeah, which one which one should you get? So I would say if all of them are the same price, it really just depends on what you need. But in terms of features, uh, you get the most out of the AirPods Pro because you get noise canceling and you get the transparency mode and then you also get spatial audio as well. So I believe what was specified is that the drivers on the third generation AirPods are better and that the Powerbeats Pro probably has a better or at least a louder or more bassy sound signature. But honestly, when I listen to them back to back, they all sound very, very similar. And I would say, yeah, the Powerbeats Pro and the third generation AirPods are just a little bit better. I wouldn't say they're miles better. I wouldn't say, if you're looking to spend more money on either of these, I wouldn't pick one over the other. I honestly think they're all pretty equal in terms of sound quality. And I would say it really, in my opinion, probably just comes up to, you know, the fit in your ears and what you're planning on doing with them. For example, the third generation AirPods, uh, these are the Pros, uh, the AirPods Pro, and these are the third generation. The third generation does not have the additional ear suction on this, so um, it'll not stay in your ear as much as I think uh, it'll be with the AirPods Pro. Uh, they just don't feel as, you know, they're as secure. And yeah, just looking at these side to side, they're essentially the same. The, the only real difference is the fact that it has the additional circle for the suction here so that you can put the ear, ear tip in here and then place it in there so you get that nice little click in there. Otherwise, uh, these look eerily similar. There seem to be slightly slight differences here. There is a little a sensor at the top here. There's no sensor at the top here, and then the ear in sensors here are just a little bit different as well. Um, I think this might be for the detection of that your um, that your bud is in your ear, and then other than that, everything looks relatively the same. It can also come down to battery life too. You get a little bit more battery life out of the AirPods third generation and then a little bit more if you're looking at the Powerbeats Pro. And then if you're looking at size wise, obviously the Powerbeats Pro is the largest. And then if you're looking at the third generation AirPods on my right here versus the AirPods Pro, uh, it's slightly different. The AirPods third generation is slightly smaller than the AirPods Pro. So yeah, other than that, I would say they're all fairly equal and they all use lightning ports to charge. So if that's something that you're looking for USB-C, then that's not going to be something that you fancy. Also, in terms of features for the AirPods Pro, you get noise cancellation and transparency mode. And then you also get spatial audio. In addition to that, on the third gen AirPods, you get spatial audio and that's all. So if you're looking for noise cancellation, then AirPods Pro is the only one in your option here. If you're working out, Powerbeats Pro is for you. If you are looking for the cheapest and possible the most casual, third gen is probably your best bet. So yeah, there you have it. A variety of things for each particular buyer, I would say. In my opinion, 
The Powerbeats Pro work best for me. They have the longest battery life, or single-use battery life. Uh, altogether, I think they all get around the same amount of battery life with their cases. I like the additional battery life in the 8-9 to nine hour range versus the 4-5 to five hours with the AirPods Pro and then the 5-6 to six hours with the third generation AirPods. If you're looking for the most comfort, I think AirPods Pro still wins that category because they give you that fit that I think most people would want that don't fit the uh, no ear tips of the third generation AirPods. So yeah, with that said, if everything was equal, i still go with the Powerbeats Pro. I think if you're looking for better audio quality or if you're looking for spatial audio, then go with either the AirPods Pro or the third generation AirPods. So yeah, with that said, I don't think it's necessarily worth it. I think there's a lot more there's a lot more advancements that can happen. I would possibly wait till next year if there's a uh, second generation of the AirPods Pro coming out so that may give you the volume up and down buttons. That's another thing is that both of the AirPods Pro and the third generation AirPods don't give you an option for uh, changing the volume uh, on the actual ear tip or on the earbud. So that's one thing that really annoys me and it's something a little bit small but I'm you know going through all of these you get, you get sort of particular with what you want. So yeah, with that said, still picking the Powerbeats Pro. Let me know in the comments what you think, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.